to attempt to fix this secure bottle simply with a soldering iron by welding the plastic shut. Now I'm just basically piercing between the crack to try to start fusing both parts together. The smoke given off by this procedure is one of the most toxic things you can encounter. You don't want to breathe this in at all. So what I do is I take a deep breath, I hold it, and then I put my face somewhere else to breathe out and in some fresh air. Also I'm outside on the balcony, so in a well ventilated spot. Okay, so you can see that we have the base fixed simply by making those holes. Once that's done, I'm going to fill in empty space using a similar material plastic. Okay, so you can see from just stabbing holes into and fusing the plastic along the crack, I've already stabilized immensely this head, you can see. I'm putting significant force with my thumb. Okay, so now I'm going to try to fill in the gaps using just pieces of plastic that have the same type of composition. You can see, I can't crack this open just with reasonable force. You can see it flexing, flexing this section here. I, I will not be beautifying or cleaning up this because it's staying under, under the sink. So I'm just going to go back and install it. I think this job is done. So the bottle has been filled up with soap and now to install. So that's where it's going, under the sink. Okay, it's now. It has been well screwed in. You can see that. And now on to and here it is. I'm happy that I've been able to solve it as we've been looking for a solution for this. It's just an irreplaceable part from IKEA, very specialized head and uh, I'll still be looking for a bottle to fix in its place but for now it should get the job done for some months or maybe years to come. Thanks for watching, bye.